Hello, this is Tyler um, on day eight of the 30 day adventure. Um, I was just about to make some watermelon juice and I realized, um, you know, after I drank a big glass of water, the process that I put water through. So I just kind of wanted to share with you what I do um, to purify my water. Um, most municipal cities uh, put in chlorine. Um, chlorine was used in Vietnam to kill people and it worked. Um, so chlorine is not good for the body. Um, it is probably good that they put chlorine in uh, different municipal waters because it kills bad bacteria and stuff of that nature. Um, but as soon as it comes to your house or wherever you're getting it, you definitely don't want to drink it in that state. So I highly recommend filtering out um, any chlorine that's in the water and a lot of municipal cities um, also put fluoride in the water. Um, they made up a big story that supposedly fluoride was good for your teeth. Well, the fluoride that they're putting in your water isn't the same kind of fluoride that happens naturally um, in nature. Um, it's called fluorospar, and it's a derivative of aluminum, and it's not good for the body. I've heard many sources of people say that it actually puts a calcification on the pineal gland, um, so it close off, closes off a lot of things going on in the brain. Um, there are studies that show that it was used by Hitler in Nazi Germany um, and he actually planned on controlling whole areas of people um, by basically putting fluoride in water, um, dumbing down masses of people which he believed would be the working force. Um, he didn't want them to be smart enough to say, no, we're not going to work, we're going to do our own thing, have our own ideas. So anyways, the whole point of this thing is how do we filter out chlorine, how do we filter out fluoride out of our water, and there's a few different ways. I just want to share with you the process that I go through. And I have this thing right here, you can see, um, it's like a pure water system, um, or you know, you can call it Brita water system. It's like 20 or $30 down at the store you can buy, you just pop it in your sink, open up the top, you know, you got your tap water, you just go ahead and, you know, pour it into there and fill it up and this drains into the bottom here. Um, so what I do, um, I think that's pretty good for taking stuff out but I really like to make sure everything's taken out. So I have another system that's over here. I know there's many different systems out there but you basically pour it into this here and this is kind of a ceramic filter that it goes through very small pores in it and then it comes down and there's a whole system that it goes through there, draining through all of this uh, different stuff, many different things. So it takes out you know, all the particulates, all the fluoride, all the chlorine, uh, many different things. And then it gets remineralized by these rocks. There's different kinds of rocks in there. It gets remineralized. Then what I do, I know there's quite a process, but I go from this to that over there. And then I take this little machine here, if you can see, I got a pitcher and I fill it up. I fill it up right here and once I got that water full and it's been purified through maybe six or seven different processes, I put it on this machine which oxygenates the water. And if you can watch here, it creates a vortex. And it's got magnets in the bottom and it's a vortexing machine and you run this thing for about five to ten minutes and then after that process I drink it and that basically replicates what's happening in nature um, as water rains on the mountains then it comes down through the streams and rivers it's constantly creating vortexes and hitting rocks and spinning going through sediment going through all kinds of different things and really cleaning itself so I just wanted to share that with you um, that's the process I go through of cleaning my water. I highly recommend cleaning your water. It can be as simple as boiling your water. Um, there was a kind of a super water that was created and studied by scientists for many years. They called it wonder water actually. And it's simply boiling your water for five minutes. You boil it for five minutes and then you put it in an airtight jar and then you cool it to about 70 degrees Fahrenheit which would be about 20 degrees centigrade. And what they found is they could use um, tap water uh, with plants and it would show how much the plants would uptake. 
and then they would take uh, fresh ice melted water, glacier water, and melt that and see how much water it uptook. And the ice water would uptake far more than the tap water. Well, once you take tap water and boil it for five minutes and then seal it, um, it goes through this really cool process when you cool it and it makes the water like super absorbable. So all of a sudden they'd give that water to the plants and they use it on crops and they have like 20 to 30 percent more yield in crops. Um, they've given it to people that are dehydrated and it just really has some amazing effects. So anybody can boil water um, and simply do this process. Otherwise, you know, it might be kind of kind of much to boil your water and try to cool it down before you drink it. Some people aren't willing to go to that extreme. So simply having a good water purification system is great. Um, again, I'm on day eight of a 30-day adventure. Eating this food here called Abundance. And I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. I did yoga last night, um, Bikram yoga in a hot room. And absolutely amazing sweating and stretching. I highly recommend it. I didn't have the best experience because I was on day seven. I only drank juice yesterday um, and went and ran on the beach, went swimming as you can see on my other videos. And I went and I, I had some heat exhaustion. So I went through some cramping and some, and some horrible stuff. It was an hour and a half in there and I really pushed myself. So I wouldn't recommend pushing yourself too much uh, but yoga is really good. Maybe start out in a regular yoga studio or if you've been doing yoga for a long time, Bikram's amazing. So anyways, um, thanks for sharing your time with me. I hope I didn't take too long and have a beautiful day.